Hey gang, this is Kirk from Memento, and today we are talking about what is a vector index. A vector index is a specialized type of index designed to store and manage multidimensional data called vectors. You can produce vectors from AI models called embedding models. Embedding models extract and translate the key features of an object, an article, an image, or a video, then encode them into a numerical format as a vector containing vector embeddings. This numerical representation preserves the meaning of the original object. Each one of these numbers in a vector is called a vector embedding. To help you visualize this better, when in a vector index, these vector embeddings effectively look like a 3D holographic star chart like you'd see in a sci-fi movie, with each embedding having its own point of light in that chart. The more embeddings that are closer to each other, the larger and brighter that point is. Just remember that's a visualization, not necessarily exactly how it's stored in an index. Related vector embeddings reveal relationships in the data. With that, vector indexes enable your apps to move beyond the simple matching of plain text search into the realm of AI-enhanced semantic search. But why is semantic search so important? Let's look at an example. Here's one image from a fashion photo shoot in Casablanca, along with a photograph of a woman in a bazaar in Casablanca. Normally, these photos are not related by much. Each has different clothing, different lighting, different people. One photo is color and the other is a sepia tone black and white image. One is in a building while the other is on a street, and so on. What does connect them, though, is that they are both photographs, they are both images of humans, they are both wearing clothing, and they both are images made in the city of Casablanca, Morocco. What might that look like in vectors stored in a vector index? We have two vectors, photo one and photo two. Each vector has vector embeddings, the numbers you see here. What this means by writing these vectors to an index is the similar vector embeddings are near, next to, or the same as other vectors in a multidimensional space of a vector index. They are automatically related. Therefore, I can do a semantic search to find all vectors that have vector embeddings that are at or near 23.45 have other vector embeddings that are near 43.31, and so on. I could also search for XYZ near 45.31, and then search inside of that further. Since you are working with an array of numbers and not bulky data, satisfying such an array is dramatically more efficient and more performant than other index types. Now that you know what a vector index does for you with vector embeddings, let's talk about some examples of what you can do with a vector index. First up is an AI chatbot. You've probably seen some of these before, like ChatGPT, Bard, and there's many other ones like this. Think about having an AI that's trained on specific data, let's say your product's documentation website. Combine that with other training data on writing applications in various languages, and now you can ask questions of that set of documentation and have the AI write code for your users. No more searching through the documentation. Just ask normal questions of the AI and it generates a response that is on topic or finds similar things of what you asked for. This use case is what we also call a knowledge bot. The next up is search. I mean, and search is fundamental to various applications, including recommendation engines, image recognition, and natural language processing. The ability to efficiently find related items in vast data sets makes similarity search a powerful tool in modern data analysis and machine learning. This can be used in product catalogs, video music streaming sites, e-commerce sites, and more. The next up is a recommendation engine. While I mention this under search, it's common enough to be a standalone thing. Let's say you were researching online to purchase a table saw. Knowing that, your past purchase history, and what other people searched for, clicked on, and rated well, an AI-enhanced recommendation could deliver you sites, images, and videos that are more pertinent to your research than a simple word search. And finally, anomaly detection. Anomaly detection is a critical process in data analysis that identifies unusual patterns that do not conform with expected behavior. These outliers, or anomalies, can signify problems such as fraud, network intrusion, or system failure. The ability to detect anomalies in real time allows for immediate response, mitigating potential risks and enhancing the overall integrity and reliability of a system. These are just a few examples, but what use cases can you think of to use vector indexes for? If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.
Thanks. Have a great day.